Y'all give it up for Angelo and the Brighton Farm. Yeah! Like our little Sean. Appreciate y'all. It's fucking getting cold out here. You know what that means, right? It's time, it's time for the perky titties. Right, it's time for the perky titties. <laughs> you know? Gals wearing hoodies and some Uggs. <laughs> Y'all don't like perky titties? The media's like, all right, this is what y'all are gonna be mad at today. Ready, go. You know what we need one more of, Angelo? What's that? One more competitive food eater on social media. Absolutely. Right, just what we got, we got, there's one short. If we get one more, we back we where we need to be. Fair. Right? Fuck, my 600 pound life. More like my 600 pound half life. Call. Statistically speaking. Did you know if you're 600 pounds, you're considered disabled? If you break your neck, you're not considered disabled. But if you're 600 pounds, you're considered disabled. Poor choices, bad luck. <laughs> that ought to tip the scale. Nice. Y'all seen Borat? Any good? Was he, was he? Yeah. Is there any bigger coward in the world than Sasha Baron Cohen? <laughs> Not just because he manipulates stupid people into saying and doing stupid things. Not because he doesn't show context or intent or leading. Not even because he then manipulates that video into making simple people believe that that's how the world works. Well, because he owes my friend five million dollars. <laughs> Y'all remember, uh, what was that, like As a Matter or some shit in the first one? The producer, the fat guy? He auditioned for my first film I ever made. And he was good, but he was an Armenian fella. We had a little white kid, so he wouldn't, couldn't be the dad to that. Don't add up. And I called him back. I was like, man, you're pretty good. I just want to let you know if we have something in the future. He said, hey, I got a, I got a restaurant. I can cater your film. For cost. That's a pretty good fella, right? Yeah. Sasha Baron Cohen didn't put him in his second film. Promised him $5 million. You know why? Because he voted for Trump. That's a piece of shit if you ask me. People to help you get somewhere and just because you vote differently than somebody. Yeah. Y'all ever try to do math stoned? Like my numbers are still pretty good, but my brain started doing all kinds of shit. You know? I'm like, what if seven really did eat nine? <laughs> and, that, and that just started like the numbers, Warren. You know seven's the aggressor. Right? We got me fucked up with my math. I'm like, bullshit, that ain't an eight. That's like 2.8. Cheating me, cocksucker. Y'all don't like math. Hmm. I got to tell this one joke, Tony. <laughs> oh, where's the, was it Don? Is that the guy that was up here? Don? Dan? Johnny Sims? Millennials don't wear condoms because they're not having sex. <laughs> they fucking wear skinny jeans. They ain't got no testosterone left in the whole lot. <laughs> skinny jeans is like a noose for your nuts. It's just strangling all that testosterone. <laughs> yeah. Y'all ever seen fake eyelashes look good? <laughs> you seen them thing? <laughs> it looks like when you go to the farm because she's looking for some corn and another fella peeled that corn back. <laughs> Get the fuck out of here. <laughs> and it wasn't good corn because he left it there and he was like, damn, that hussy fell down. It, then fibers. <laughs> and, right? And then fibers, it looked like, you know, like the Japanese gals in the Kabuki theater. When they played, it looked like they're fanning themselves. <laughs> the fuck is going on, y'all? We out here, everybody think you gotta be cute. <laughs> fuck arguing over whose more is too much more. Fucking $1,000 cell phones, $10,000 purses. 
$100,000 worth of squirts in your face. <laughs> Battered baby otter on your eyelids. <laughs> Just a little maybe it's Maybelline. That's all you need. <laughs> but maybe it's Maybelline. Y'all are so beautiful, you don't need all that extra. <laughs> right, we go out of our way and make sure everyone has something. Instead of using our collective abilities to make something for everyone. I love you, Angelo Gingerelli in the Brighton Bar. Give it up for Chad Boy Triple, dropping Jen's on the dog.